What's up everyone, it's your boy NordRad89 here bringing you another video today to do a rad movie review for a new movie that I just caught called Satan's Little Helper. And man, is this the perfect example of one of those films that it's just, it's a film that it just exists. Oh my god, we have some stuff to talk about. Let's get down to this. Roll it. So Satan's Little Helper is a 2004 horror comedy. This film is about, let's just go over the synopsis real quick. I'm going to just read it to you. It is on the afternoon of Halloween, Douglas Woolley dons his costume and expectations of a fun-filled night. But when he hears his beloved sister Jenna has found her boyfriend, he throws a tantrum and flees the house. Douglas befriends a man in a devil costume and helps him decorate his lawn with fake corpses. Unfortunately, Douglas and his family, the corpses and the murders and all the other stuff that's going on are unfortunately real. And this man is a madman. So. Douglas Woolley is a kid in this film that is kind of obsessed with gaming. So there are elements of this film. Let's we're not going to talk total trash about this film. There are elements of this film that are actually pretty good. Douglas Woolley is a kid who is obsessed with kind of technology and stuff like that. He has his his mom and stuff and you kind of see he's obsessed with this game called Satan's Little Helper. But he's kind of just a very, you know, not a cool kid like he's just not a good kid he's not portrayed that way the way they portray this kid is not like a likable child at all and of course like i said he befriends this very evil person in a costume thinking he's the devil and he wants to be satan's little helper and he's gonna do whatever he can to help this man get away with whatever he wants to and they do some horrific horrific stuff in this film so lead into the fact that positive wise it is a horror comedy there are moments that i did laugh at this film be it that i wasn't laughing for the reasons i think they wanted me to laugh at you know in terms of the content they were creating or the writers or anything like that it was more of just how asinine bad this was so i was like it literally is one of those films that you kind of just feel like it, it it exists. And there's actually, like, I'm going to look them up. There's actually some actors in here and actresses that are not, like, not bad people. There are some good people in this film. So the problem I have with this is I'm like, what the fuck would attach your name to this film for? So we have Jenna, who plays his sister. Jenna is played by Catherine Winnick. And I just find the fact that they wrote her character to be so unintelligent on purpose and so dumb that I'm like, oh my god. Like, they literally wrote a lot of the female characters in this film to be dumb on purpose. And I was like, it actually, like, irked me. Plummer in here who was in films like Pulp Fiction and The Fisher King and Freeway and A Simple Wish. And she plays the mother in here. And for real, like, there's just something. Like, the, the way they wrote some of the characters in here, it's just, I don't understand what the what they were trying to get across it just really i don't know i don't know but like i said there are some moments i was laughing at it and the fact that it is kind of a film that if you pay attention to it the theme is almost like how impressionable kids are and everything and how you have to be very careful about what you say to them or what you show them and all this kind of stuff so i understand there are certain elements of the story that kind of really represent certain things but i'm just like the characters are so freaking bad and the dialogue is absolutely atrocious but we have to talk about my absolute favorite line my favorite line in this film delivered by jenna or the sister character D douglas's sister oh my god we get into the third act and there is a line that she delivers that she tells douglas when they're going after Satan. And she looks at her brother. And she says. He killed our dad. And his ass. Is grass. So yes. This is the kind of film we are dealing with. Like I said. This is a very low budget horror comedy. Satan's Little Helper. Like I said. I don't come in here to just really slam this film. I, 
it sucks because there are some elements with the character of the lead villain, our antagonist character, the gentleman that is in the costume of the devil outfit. The fact that there are some elements where they leave the story ambiguous. They lead these little like nuggets of things that you pick up on as you're watching the film. So I'm like, I'm watching it. I'm still interested in this film because there's still <clears throat> story elements and nuggets and creativity that is pulling me in. But there's just so much bad shit as well, too. And I'm like watching it and it legit, legit. I don't know if it's the fact that I've like said, I've been, I've been working a lot. I'm almost on seven days in a row now working. I haven't slept yet. I worked last night. Haven't slept yet. Went shopping. And then I watched this movie because this movie is streaming on Shudder. That's where you can check it out. I always like to tell people where they are at, where these films are. You can stream it on Shudder. And, oh, man, this film is just... It's such this weird bag of mix that I can't, I can describe, but can't really describe at the same time. But we have to nail down a rating for this bad boy, and in terms of a rad rating, like, if I'm gonna go critical, like, we're gonna go critical, we're talking about, like, this film in, like, eyes of looking at, like, all this stuff about it, and story elements, and hills, and... Stuff that I typically go to horror and comedies for, especially horror comedies, stuff that I typically go for. Like, this is such a big bag of mix. Like I said, there are really good comedy elements that I thought were funny. There's some cool practical effects and kills in here. But, like, the acting and the way it looks and the dialogue and... Whoa. It's just... I would give this a rad rating of a 4 out of 10. And what's crazy is this film has an 83% on Rotten Tomatoes. And I believe it has like a 5.4 out of 10 like on Metacritic or Meta or something like that. Like for real. I'm going to give you my, at the end of this video, stay tuned to the end of this video because you're going to get my full on unedited reaction when I first looked at the Rotten Tomatoes score for this film. But yeah, it has an 83%. But it's going to get a 4 out of 10 from your boy Norrin Rad. Please like this video. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like the video. That definitely helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And have that notification bell poke. So you're notified anytime I drop a video. But most importantly. I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out. Ass bitch. Sorry. <laughs> Damn. 83 fucking percent. Lord, have mercy.